In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to work with video presets, including creating your own video presets that you can apply or link to videos across your website. So first thing is I need to use a video. Now you can add video presets to any of our video types. So it's YouTube, Vimeo, Self, Host, Bunny. You can use your presets on any of them. I'll just go ahead and click on YouTube right here and I'll paste in a YouTube link and I'll click on add video and there it is. So right here is our video presets. So we have these default ones and these will probably change in the future and these aren't made to be edited. These are just quick ones that we've created for you. Now you can also create your own video presets and you can see I've created these three video presets here for this website. If you ever want to edit a video preset, you would click on the pencil icon and you can also delete video presets. Keep in mind though, when you link video presets to a video, those presets will always be linked to the video. So if you change them, even though it's not being changed on that video, those changes will apply. So you want to always keep that in mind. So to create a new batch of video presets that you want to use, go ahead right here and click on add new presets. It's going to pull this up right here. And the first thing we'd want to do is name our presets. I've entered YouTube videos. So here we have these three different tabs and we also have a player style. So if you have a lot of these presets enabled, it starts to get a little cluttered down here. And so we might want to change this to the stacked player style. And if you notice that play bar is now above and that frees up more room underneath here for these different controls that we might want to use. Now, most of these controls are actually quite self-explanatory. And that's because most video players, even the ones on your TV, we have these options. Now there might be usages where you don't want these options to be there and you just want someone to be only be able to push play and not see or do anything so they could focus on the video. And you have these options. Any of these you can simply toggle on or toggle off. Whatever you want, you can have here. So by default, we don't have the speed increasing the playback speed turned on. I like having that on. Picture in a picture it doesn't work on all devices. Devices. So it's up to you whether you want that on or not, as well as full screen. It might be something that you don't want on for someone. I use a Mac, so I do like picture in a picture, uh, but it doesn't always work on all computers. So let's go ahead and click on the behavior tab. So this right here is to auto hide controls. So that means uh, when someone hovers their mouse, the controls will appear. And when they move their mouse away, those controls will disappear. This is a big one, save play position. What this does is actually it saves play position as well as player settings. So if someone is watching half of your video and they have to leave and they come back, it will remember as long as they log on in that same computer where they left off and put them right where they left off. So you can decide whether you want that on or not. Then we have sticky on scroll. What this is, is if you have a video at the top of your page and there's a lot of content and as soon as someone scrolls away, they can no longer see your video. But you have, if you have this enabled, your video shrinks and sticks to the bottom right corner. Now we have two additional options here that are for YouTube videos only. And the first one is hide the YouTube user interface. Now we're not doing anything hacky with this feature. These are options that YouTube allows us to use. However, we don't feel comfortable saying that here's this great thing you can do for YouTube videos because YouTube can change it at any time. So you can enable this, and but what it does is it really does remove a lot of the YouTube branding. And at the end of the video, it doesn't just show any random channels, video thumbnails, it will only show your content. Now also for YouTube, is lazy loading videos. This is gonna be a huge, huge performance improvement. So I like to toggle both of these on just for my YouTube videos. And this is my preset for YouTube videos. Then we can lastly visit the style. And if you want to hide the logo, if you have a logo defined as your global logo, if you don't want it on videos with this preset group, you can toggle this and that logo has disappeared. One of my personal favorites is rounded corners. I don't like 
like sharp corners that you have on videos. So I like to go ahead and pop a five in there and just softens it up and rounds it up a little bit. Then right here we have our caption style and that's the default when it's the two lines that appear for the caption uh, and full is when it's just one line and it's kind of on the bottom here, uh, but we're not gonna be using captions in YouTube video. And so you can also set the color background, which you're not gonna do. Hey, this looks great to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create preset and now there it is, YouTube videos. So whenever I have a YouTube video, I can use these same settings and just add my YouTube blog choose these settings and if I ever change my mind I can come back here click on the edit make one change and it applies to every video that I've linked these video presets to it's super easy and this is one of the most powerful features that we have here in Presto Player